welcome back to Cross Stitch the Globe. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And this is a very special Floss Tube Extra today. We're going to be talking about Allison's Thomas Kincaid Disney kit. We're going to um, talk about background about the kits, what we've been able to figure out about them because they're crazy and how Allison discovered them. Today's Allison's birthday, which is why we saved recording this video until today because she's actually going to unbox it, which is very exciting. And then she's going to start it in the video. So... <laughs> Ah, and we know um, there are some problems with the kits that we'll talk about in a little while. And we have resources for if you find this video because you're going to do one of these kits, we'll have some resources that we talk about that are helping us that will be listed in the description. Um, and if you are new and you are just finding this video because of the kit, um, please subscribe. We are Cross Stitch the Globe. We're two sisters who cross stitch. I am a travel writer. I convert my photos to cross stitch patterns, but I stitch a lot of things. What kind of things do you like to stitch? Um, I stitch a variety. I used to be a monogamous stitcher, um, but since the best, about the last six months, I've been stitching everything. everything. So lots um, of like Disney and like so. This is part of princess. Allison's Disney princess or princess birthday sal, and we have a whole other video that talks about it, which is why we're starting this one. So, um, <laughs> let's dive right in. So, Allison, how did you? So these kits are pricey and hard to find and very popular and how did you learn about them okay so um i'm drawn to like anything cinderella any princess you know beautiful whatever um so i was watching microbiologist makes and she showed she had done like a finish of the sleeping beauty one. Oh, and i mean I was, that's one of her earlier ones because i started watching hannah like i think in the middle or i don't later. know yeah i've watched i've gone back <laughs> and watched other ones but Whichever one it was, but this is what she showed and, or she showed this, the Sleeping Beauty one and it was gorgeous. And, um, it kind of, she had talked about doing other kits like that and she had just mentioned, oh, I'm sorry, these are out of print, but if you buy them on the secondary market, be careful, they can be expensive. So I was intrigued because it was so gorgeous and she was not kidding. They <laughs> are pricey. So I had pretty much just given up on getting to stitch one of these and I was lamenting to Stephanie about these new patterns I just found and they're so great and so like iconic and I was probably not going to be able to get one. And then, so Allison um, loves to cross stitch but she is very like responsible with her money and does not always spend money on herself for things that she likes. And these kits, um, they range in price a lot. Like I I found out recently that the one for Tangled, which is not even a Disney movie that I've seen. It was an old, like, it's newer. It's, it's newer, newer, but I guess the right when this company was going out of business, it, it was one of the more recent kits that they had done, so there are as many of them. Yeah. Those are $1,500 on the secondary market. So I did not know that. Luckily, the one Allison sent to me when I, that was the one she wanted, which was this one, which is Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream. Luckily, this is one of the more easily available, less um, insanely priced ones. And so I talked to my mom and my sister and they're like, if we all go in on this together, that's a normal amount of money to spend on a birthday present. So normally I wouldn't tell Allison what we spent on a present for her, but just to help you guys out. Um, it was listed at 150 on eBay. I sent the guy a thing or the girl, I don't know who it was. I sent them something. Mom said, offer half. Because mom, our mom sometimes sells on eBay. She's like, people will send the craziest offers, just offer half. And he replied with like, 90. So between tax and shipping and everything was about a hundred dollars. So for three people to buy that for your present, like not an amount of money that you need to like stress about. And we were all very excited it was to just do it. So thoughtful. And normally I wouldn't tell you because right. that's like weird. But for you to know, it was like, okay, it was like a little bit of back and forth, but we were able to get it for less than some of the outrageous prices listed on Etsy on eBay, which you have to know about buying them on eBay. You gotta one make sure like they're not counterfeit, people do get ripped off. Um, and I, we can't exactly tell you like what you need to look for to not be ripped off but just because so we're not experts. This is our first one. We're <laughs> first not experts. We know this one is legit. <coughs> um, it's got the price tag. The original, <laughs> the original price tag is still there. Um, but you know, we can't tell you like, this is what to look for. Also, some people, we've heard some people say like, if people are only selling the pattern then that's a fake, that's not necessarily true because like some people will do the kit and then because these are so like highly sought after, we'll resell the patterns. So <coughs> you might want to just check if someone's reselling the pattern, if they like um, did the piece, like do they have the stitched piece? Like if Allison did this whole piece, she would have the right to sell the pattern. And she, <coughs> oh, 
sorry, I'm like, <laughs> anyway. Um, but you'd be able to be like, this is my stitch piece and here's the pattern. Yeah. So, um, you have to be careful when you buy them on eBay and just because something is listed as that price doesn't mean that that's what it's always going for. What you should do is a search, go in and look, you can change the filters to sold and you can see what the thing you're looking for actually has sold for. And you might find like, oh, this person's asking $300, but this kit usually goes for a hundred. So I'm not going to pay that. Now that doesn't mean that person will accept a lower price and not everybody even allows you to counter. But these come up enough on eBay. If you set a notification for the one that you want and you get educated about what they really do sell for, then you can go in with like, this is the range I want to pay. Okay. And so, um, good. Good to know. Cause I, if this works out, I will be buying more. <laughs> yeah. So um, and I'm taking I, notes as well. <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't worry. I mean, I, I have been buying like used mirabilia patterns on eBay and stuff and it's like, Sometimes I'll buy a pattern like for 25 that always goes for 30 and I'll get really excited. And sometimes people will be like, list a pattern for 60 that always goes for 40. And it's like, well, I'm not paying 60. Or like the Christmas memorabilias, FYI, they get crazy expensive at Christmas time. But then like during the year, they have different prices. So that's how you figure out. You want to look at the historically, like what they sold for. That's also how I get my vintage hoops and know like what, not what they're really worth because that's hard, but like what's an appropriate amount to pay for that specific hoop. So yeah. All right, so we got this kit. The first thing we worried about was like, oh no, is it gonna be legit? Or has it been used? <laughs> yeah. Like, is someone saying that it's a new kit, but it looks but used? It, yeah. But we don't think this one has been used. I think this is We'll it. find out when we dig into it though, which, and unbox it. Um, Cause we only have one other unboxing video on our channel so far. And it was when I got um, all of my Al Forest threads. And that kit, um, the kit was complete. Oh yeah. But I was missing something from my order. It was so. wrong. That's right. So, <laughs> so we'll find out. It'll be good. <coughs> Which the company totally rectified and actually I ended up with a whole second set of threads. So we love Al Forest. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we are going to unbox it so you can actually see that, what it is. Um, let me give a little bit of background on the history of what I've been able to figure out. So there is a group on Facebook, and I can't look it up now. I'll list it in the description that's like Friends of Thomas Kincaid Cross Stitch or something like that. I will list it in the description with the link. If you are in the market for buying one of these for the first time or interested in stitching one for the first time because you have one, go to that group because almost every kit that's out there, I would say probably every kit that's out there, has been stitched by someone in that group. A lot of these kits have mistakes and they're like, I think that is one of the reasons. The video we watched about them didn't make it sound like that was why they went out of production. Yeah, But I right. do think the issues were larger than people realize. Like if 10% of the kits potentially had mistakes, like that's pretty big but almost all the errors that are in the kits people in that group can tell you about so like I'm Alice is going to go in and look for this kit and look for all the advice about the kit um and then if she has an issue she can post it in yeah. that group um also if you buy a used one it doesn't come with the threads these are not BMC numbers so you need to find out like what your threads Imagine. actually should look like to go like you could take one of these threads in the Hobby Lobby and convert it or with a DMC card convert it. But if you literally just have the pattern, it would be really difficult, I think, to figure it out. I think so too, especially since there are so many colors. Hi guys. Um, so I'm editing the video and I was doing a little bit of research and I found that there on cyberstitchers.com, there's a flosh conversion chart for Candemar threads, which I guess are the threads used in these kits. And that's what most people use for their conversions. Uh, sorry, we didn't know that when we were filming, but we're inserting it now. I will list the website in the description. And um, so then I guess if you were to buy like a pattern that was used that you could verify was not um, a copyright violation, but it was literally like a pattern from a kit that is then being sold and you only had the thread list, I guess you could probably use this list. Um, I would also join the Facebook group just to double check, um, but you can convert it to DMC and I guess maybe theoretically like Cosmo and other um, brands. So uh, back to the main video. So these originally were created by the MCG Textiles Company. Um, this kit is from 2009. I don't know exactly what year they went out of business. These were made in the USA. It's done on 18 count ADA. Um, but somehow they got the licenses to do the Thomas Kincaid Disney prints as cross stitch kits. The cross stitch kits that are sold in like Disney parks are not these. And the, the Thomas Kincaid's 
like that are available from Heaven, Earth, and Zines are not these either. Like this is very specifically just like a kit that people get obsessed about as a kit. Yeah. There's rumors and hopes and dreams that um, either Heaven and Earth Designs or someone else will buy the old patterns because MCG Textiles still, according to a video we just watched from Liz Disney, Disney Craft, Craft Girl, Girl, which we will link below. Tuesdays. She interviewed someone who used to work with the company and they said they still own the copyrights to these patterns. And made it sound like it would be really difficult. I don't know why it would be difficult to release the pattern and let people go figure out their own DMC conversions. like I don't Or know. to do one DMC. I don't know why that would be difficult. Yeah. Considering how many small-time pattern makers sell individual patterns like yeah. and their own kits. So I don't... But it doesn't sound like there's any plans to. People hope Heaven Earth Designs will buy them. There's no, like, no... There's no, like, are they for sure? We don't know. Um, these patterns have a lot of specialty stitches, backstitch, and French knots that people who stitch them say really bring the patterns to life and heaven and earth designs wouldn't replicate them. I don't know why they wouldn't replicate them. Like, I don't know. I guess what they're I've saying is... I've never done a heaven and earth design, though. So. I've never done one either. I don't know why... If I don't know why a company couldn't just buy these from them. Whoever owns them would make a lot of money off of that sale. Yeah. Why they wouldn't just do the patterns as is and go figure out DMC's... Their yeah, like his, yeah. yeah, they could like. I don't know why that would be so hard. I also, if Heaven Earth Designs did it, would they be just be getting the picture and doing the conversion from scratch? And then if that happens, those would be cool. But I don't think that would satisfy the people who want the these fans. specific kits because the people who want these kits, yeah, want these kits. Yeah, um, I think it would satisfy have satisfied you at the beginning of it. It would because I didn't know about yeah. the kit thing i yeah. thought it was a great pattern and then the more you yeah. research getting one you're like oh it's a kit you can only buy it as a kit. but the collectors they want this okay so i think that's all the background people really need about like our journey to the kit and also like where to go oh i will say if you're worried about something being fake sorry about the dogs yeah we're not going to be doing this for that long so i'm not stressed about them other people have watched our videos have yeah. heard much worse um, yeah, so, okay, so the, if you want to know, like, besides just eBay, like, fair pricing, what is, looks like a scam, all that stuff, join the Facebook group. That really seems to be where most of the institutional knowledge of this resides, and you're quick, like, I asked last night, like, because I wanted to just tell you before we started, like, what are the history of this, thinking, like, oh, maybe we get a little bit. There's, like, YouTube videos about it, but I wouldn't have known about it without the Facebook group, right. so, um, is there anything else we should mention before we start this unboxing? It is huge. The finished size on 18 count is 16 by 12. That's really big. That is going to be a project. And I, I'm excited, but I am nervous. And you are going to, like today, we're going to, you're going to start it. Yes. But you are going to need to make a working copy before yes. you keep going. So yes. she'll do what she can today to officially start it on her birthday. Yeah. It's part of the princess but birthday. But full coverage, so. I need the working yeah. copy. <laughs> so, all right. Um, before we... Dig in, let's just commemorate. And we didn't actually take any pictures of it, which was probably silly. But I can get a screenshot of this if we ever need one. And then it's got three of these red bad boys. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's unbox it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, and the thank you sticker was from the person who we bought it from on eBay, obviously, not from the. But it looks like the original. Oh, the it's original price tag was from Hobby Lobby. That is so nice. Isn't it crazy that, like, 15 years ago, you could have just gone and bought, like, $200 yeah. for the kids in Hobby Lobby, and today you would have one of them worth $1,500. Oh, my God. The ones that are, like, really expensive are, like, real crazy. And then people are, like, really want the newer one, like, the new Disney movies. Oh, okay. So that wrapper was the eBay wrapper, and now this is the kit wrapper. All right. Allison's like, what are we going to unbox? I'm like, we're just going to show it. We're just going to take the plastic we'll off, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. All right. I was really worried that maybe it had been, um, like, opened and then some of the floss would be gone. Yeah. But I counted, because it's clear. Yeah. So I counted, and it says on the packs. I'll start with the floss cards. It's, oh, oh, look at that. That's like a big, that is like a big dimensions kit. Oh my God. And some of it, so like, look how sparkly. Ooh. 
Now, who knows if it will be fun to stitch with, but it's... Oh, well. We don't really... Don't. I don't, we don't know what the brand of these... They're not DMT numbers. We don't... Oh. Okay, I'm not going to... What are you them. doing? We're going <laughs> to... Oh, it's not really knotted around it. It's it's not like... Okay, They're so, just like looped in yeah. into it. So like... Uh, and I haven't... I've opened some kits, but I haven't opened enough kits to know if that's unusual or not. But I, I'll just show the difference because I was making floss wraps this morning. So when I make a floss wrap, right, I'm like looping it around. Those are not looped in. They're just literally they're just stuck in. But like I think the kits I've bought have been looped. Okay. Not the Mill Hill kits. Those are just a jumble of threads. Uh, um, You're going to need to go through and loop all of those. Well, it, it, would it be weird if I bobbinated them? Because I prefer no, bobbins. Um, you just need to make sure you keep these numbers. Yeah. But instead of writing the DMC numbers, you would just... Write these numbers. Yeah. And it would just be just this kit. Yeah. Yeah. And then any leftover you should keep in case you want to convert to DMC. Yeah. That would be good. Oh, I'm so excited. They're so like cartoon colors that I love that. That is crazy yeah. that this gold thread is just like hanging on there. That yeah. stresses me out. Precariously, yes. I will fix you that. Could f you could replace it with a cranic really easy. It's not like it, we wouldn't know what we were looking at. Yeah. And then comes with here. one needle. One needle, yep. So there's three. Ooh, there's three things of... Oh, look at that one. The clear, sparkly one. Oh, I can't see it. Now that we know how precarious it is, I'll, oh, be careful. I'll show it without. Okay. This uh, blue, clear sparkle. That's so pretty. It is so pretty. I mean, I don't want to ever stitch with it. I don't even use stitching with it, but it's very pretty. <laughs> um, I'm not, I do not like stitching with it. The metallics I have worked with so far here is your needle back. Thank you. All right. So that was the needle and one more. With the dark colors. Ooh, pretty. And what we don't know too is like, and I think in the group you'll probably, you could probably figure this out. I didn't think to ask about it or look it up. How stingy the kits are. Because some kits are oh. real stingy with floss and some aren't. Yeah. So if these kids are stingy with floss, then you I need to be really. I am a floss waster. And almost every one of these colors is probably something you could easily get the DMC for. As long as you don't use up what you have before yeah. you need to convert it on DMC. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to read about that. I have to. Because some of these have so few, just like two strands, two strands, it'd be a waste. Well, the Pioneer Woman kit all. that I did, which was not like my favorite thing to stitch, but I had lots left over. Yeah. Um, even the ones that set, like only had one strand, like I had a lot left over because the strands were really long. Yeah. But um, the, that kit, it wasn't um, tied like a floss wrap, but they were like sewn into the plastic so you, or the paper so you cut the piece oh. off. A lot more secure than that. Yeah. I don't know, though. I've never opened a big dimensions kit. I've opened a small dimensions kit, and I can't remember what it was like. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is the 18 count Ada. Just plain stiff. Really stiff. Not surged, as you can see. Well, Ada's hardly ever. Well, um, it was just funny because in that video, she, the person who worked for MCG was like, it was really hard to get the fabric. It was like... It was hard to get Ada. It was hard to get Ada. And Maybe it was size. back then. I Maybe, know. Yeah, I mean, it was a totally different. I just think of all the little pattern makers who make their own do individual it all. kits. Yeah. yeah, they do it all. To be like, was it that hard? Yeah. You were selling to Hobby Lobby. Like, but, yeah. I don't know, I'm being snotty. But this is large piece of fabric. But it, this also, is clearly just cut off from like a bigger sheet. So. Yes. Yes, I'm just saying, yeah. stitched wise, that's for an 18 okay. count. Yeah. yeah. That is quite a large piece. I'm excited about that. So I wonder if you stitch it one, if you stitch with one strand or two, if it's 18 count. Because like if it was a 36 count linen, you would stitch let's it one find, over. Yeah, let's see what the instructions let's say. Let's see what the instructions say. Da, 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 da. Oh, here are the special instructions. Sorry. I'm so into it. I know. I just want to document it. Also, if you ever sell it and someone's like, is this real or not? After you stitch it, if you want to sell the padding, you can be like, here's our whole unboxing video. Like, <laughs> this is me start to finish. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, type of stitch cross stitch, three fourth stitch, uh, one fourth cross stitch, French knots, back stitch. Yes, okay. Uh, two ply C symbol list. Oh, two, two ply. Okay, yeah. so it is two over, it's two over one. Nope, all, all of it. So cross oh. stitch, two ply C symbol list, French knot, two ply, 
back stitch one and two. Oh wide. yeah, but okay. So but for the cross stitches, yeah, it is it's two, two over one on eighteen count, mm -hmm. which I don't know if people do eighteen count. They usually do two over one. I know. Even sixteen count sometimes feels tight. like it's getting there. Pro I bet that needle is a twenty four size twenty four needle, and you probably want a smaller needle. Let's look and see. Think about. I that. don't know what size that needle is, but let's compare it to my size twenty four needle. Okay. That I have because this is a fourteen count that I'm gonna be. While she's stitching her, I'm going to be starting one of my princess patterns for the cell. That's something I designed, so I went ahead and brought it over. Um, and you saw the unboxing of the needle. But I didn't. Oh, no. You didn't bring a needle? No, I do, but they're like, they got loose because I, oh, no. I was out of needle boxes. So normally I like to put a, a needle boxes. tin, um, but I was out of. Um, oh, that's. No, it's a, I would say that's a size 26 needle. It's definitely not a 28. No, it's just a 24. That's what I thought. So it's it a looks 24 fat. needle for 18 count. I'm not, no, I'm not going to use it. I know for sure that's the one because mine have like gold on the inside. Pretty cool. Not real gold though. But the, it just makes it. Jared told me I need to buy um, colored needles so I quit dropping them. <laughs> Valentine's like there's needle. My husband's like there's needles everywhere. I'm like I no, almost never no, lose needles. There's not needles. I do believe you find the occasional needle, but I do not lose needles very much. Because no. I have two needles. I put two needles in every kit, and I only am using one of them. And then I make sure when I put the them needle. back, I put them on the back of my needle binder. Yeah, that's way too big. So luckily you have. Other I needles. have lots of needles. So you I'll also okay. might want to stitch it one over two and see what happens. Yes. Maybe we'll pause between when we finish the unboxing and when we start the stitching to go in the Facebook group and see if people have what different people needle recommendations and different um, ply, like how many strands to use. And we'll and so when we get to that stitching part, she'll be stitching with what people recommend. Probably mm -hmm. we'll tell you what happened. Yeah, but that'll be. Is there anything else in the kit? Uh, nope, that was it. Let so, me see the instructions in the pattern. Instructions. I'm not going to show the pattern, obviously. But yeah, don't show the pattern. I want to show. What it looks like enough that people. Okay, so it's a giant piece of paper. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to stitching off of um, off of paper, though. I only started stitching digitally in the last six months. So okay, so the overlap. This is kind of cool. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but the overlap is separated from the pattern. So they're like these are the three that. That's kind of nice. I like that actually. Yeah, that's not bad. And normally I will just skip this. Okay, so this is six giant pages. The chart is in black and white, except like back stitch and specialty stitches seem to be in color. So again, I'll just show this tiny little corner. It looks like there's some yellow specialty thing right there. I'm showing you guys with the nail that I just bit up. So that was stupid. Um, this chart is not the, I know that there are mistakes on most of the charts, but this chart is not the worst thing to read I've ever seen. No, my Sooner Santa one is much harder to read than this. I can already tell. Here's what the floss list looks like. Oh yeah, this isn't bad at all. No, that's fine. It's just a lot when you look at it. Like all six ones, pages yeah. of, of full, like full pages. Okay, so Shiny. this tells you the code, the name of the, the problem is you couldn't take the name and just go pick up a DMC, but I bet somewhere online someone has converted most of these DMC. You probably wouldn't have to do it yourself. I wonder if that Facebook group. I bet, yes. I, that I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, it has like very specific back stitch instructions for like the colors. Tweeting, I don't know what tweeting is. Tweeting? I don't know what tweeting is. It has a lot of French on it, okay. So for every color, it has what their uh, cross stitches, and then if they have French knots, what the symbol for the French knots are. So the symbol for the French knots might not be the color dot, which is funny. Oh, that is funny. Um, but I don't know what tweeting is. Um, oh, it's blending. These kids are so old that we have like now developed a very standardized language for how to do some of these things on YouTube and Flosstube. And oh, so okay. that I guess it didn't used to be a standard, or maybe blend. Maybe it's just because Teresa to Winkler it. does use the term blends, yeah. and they're older, older patterns. Yeah. So this is calling it, blends tweets. It could just be this company. Yeah, but they also produce. I have other fabric I've gotten that's like from like other fabric, like vintage fabric hauls. That is MCG te textiles fabric. So do you have it, any patterns? No, I don't have any patterns. Yeah. But I just mean like they didn't just sell these kits. Yeah. They did other things. 
And then, okay, so these flosses are only in blends. So like, and actually the Mirabilia's I have are way older than this pattern. So I have called to blends. use two strands. You have to use two strands because you have to use strands. the blends. Okay. I wonder if you hate the 18 count, you might swap the fabric out if you hate it. You could try well, I'm it. I'm excited to do 18 count because any bigger than this, I think mentally, it'll yeah. be the same amount of stitching, but mentally it will feel more like a project. But before like, stitching, a project. it is just you tape the edges of your fabric. <laughs> we will not. You will not. I will not, <laughs> but I think I still don't. Like, it was a good idea. Oh, it wants you to start in the center. And I think because you don't know what the dimensions of that fabric are, a center start probably makes sense. You should sit, figure start. out. Okay, so the the finished stitch size is 16 by 12. I wonder what the margins on that piece are. I don't know. We'll grab a ruler, though. And okay. Um, helpful hints. Out. Clean hands make a clean, finished product. Yeah, we don't know what the washing situation is on this. Because we don't know about this. Well, the Facebook group will have ideas for okay. washing. I don't wash my fabrics because I do use over dyed stuff, but Allison only stitches on Ada on things that are not over dyed with DMC. So she can wash everything. And also I wash them because it takes me so long yeah. to do that. No, I when I can wash them, I like yeah. to wash them. But okay. I do have projects that I can't wash. Hoops may be used but must be removed when you are not stitching. They can permeate, crease, and distort the fabric. Now, we don't know if this is some kind of weird, cheaper fabric that I do. Sure. I do try to take... I do try to take my hoops off a lot, but not every time. Well, because I only do because of floss tube. I take them off every two weeks. And yeah. It. <laughs> and then they're off until the next time if I take them off. If your floss becomes twisted, simply hold your project in the air and let the needle dangle to untwist itself. Is that his signature in cross stitch? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll cut that you out. You have to cut that out. Guys, I showed the pattern for Thomas Kincaid's name and I'm cutting it out. Um, but that's really cool that it's on there. But they have it in back stitch so you can put it on the painting. I'm Thomas totally Kincaid's that. charted signature is provided. Should you desire to add it to your design, it should be placed in the lower right hand corner. The signature may be stitched in the color of your choice. The solid left squares indicate placement of cross of. Oh, because it's back stitch, but then those oh, are but cross. There are okay. some cross. Okay. Yeah, there's customer service, but they are no longer in. In. Business. Yeah, business. Um. Always make the first stitch of each X in the same direction. A joy stitches should hold hands. You know, this would have been like so fun to pick up at the store for my before like, like floss tube and yeah, all. And like, how you much didn't is know out there, what was yeah. going on, and you just like find it. Like this would have been so cool to come across. <laughs> Note the colored photograph label is a handy reference guide. Reference and guide. Is there an, another thing in there? A what? A colored photograph label. Oh, the the picture. I guess. Um, yeah, it must be because that's the only thing. That's the only thing, other thing in here. Is yeah. the... And then if this kid has decorative threads, it is best to work with shorter lengths to reduce singles and breakage. Every effort has been taken to ensure the quality of this kit using the stitches, color, and number of plies suggested would enable you to have enough materials to complete the design. I'm not worried about the threads because we could get a really good substitute as long as you have an, like this much, we could go to... A box store and get one. Yeah. I'm getting a DMC card. I, I'm gonna save for one. I'm gonna get on one. the DMC website. They're only like forty five dollars. Oh, let's get one. Okay. Okay. Um, what I am worried about is the fabric size. We should definitely check that. Okay. Before you start. Okay. Also, if you don't want to do a center start, then you need to know for sure what your margin can be. I kind of don't want to do a center start. You don't really like center start. I did on my center Santa, but I think I find it even more confusing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, that's all we have to show about the unboxing section. We're nice. going to go do a little bit of research, and then we're going to come back and start stitching. You ready? I'm so ready. Right. <laughs> I want to start. Okay, so we found out a few things. One, the pattern only has... I also didn't know I was starting recording. The pattern only has four pages, not six, so if you're like a purist, like, don't add us. We, like, two of the pages were instructions. Um, reading through the group to figure out fabric margins. We couldn't figure out anything. Cause like some like companies are famous for bad fabric margins in their kits. So we still have to look that up. Some people do suggest subbing out all the threads for DMC and the fabric from the kit. So like basically you're spending a hundred dollars on just the pattern. Yeah. We're not going to do that today, but if we find, if you find that stitching it, you don't like it and you yeah. wish you had different materials. Cause it would be really disappointing to stitch the whole thing and be like the coverage on this is 
like no, ridiculous. but I think you'll know with a thousand stitches yes, if you like yes. it. So I'm definitely gonna start it as is. We're gonna start today. with the kit materials, but if it doesn't work out, yeah, not afraid to sub it. No, yeah. okay, okay. Margin findings. This sheet is giving us two inch margins all the way around. Exactly two. Inches. Like exactly like a tight two inches. Yeah. So if it probably be smarter, not smart. Probably be less risky to do a center start, but I don't like center starting not full coverage. That. Yeah. And I, w I wouldn't, but just be really careful. We'll or measure your first stitch really carefully. Yeah, yeah. I would rather have to add fabric to it to frame yeah. than start in the center. Yeah. Because that sounds... Yeah. I just had this one horrible thing. experience where I accidentally somehow gave myself three inches on one side and one inch on the other. Oh, you've seen me mess, like, completely yeah. mess up. Um, and it's a possibility, but I'm going to risk luckily, it. Luckily, this is the most easy thing to replace yeah. in the kit. And yeah. then the next would be to replace all the... I bet there is an online um, DMC conversion, but yeah. I don't know what it is. If we ever find one, we'll list it in the description. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a tight two inches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Allison is starting the Thomas Kincaid Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream kit from MCG Textiles. And go. Okay, that was just my marker <laughs> no. to say, because the, there's tight margins. So what we figured out was it's a lot harder to record a Stitch With Me type session than we envision. And so, um, <laughs> I'm going to go sit down, but that was, oh, sorry, I shook the camera. That was interesting. Can you move it down just a tiny bit? Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm <laughs> not that talented. Actually, I'll just stay over here while you do this, because. Okay. This is a pretty purple I think I'll just, um, from this point, just speed it up so it's like 60 seconds or whatever. That's fine. <laughs> The picture is just like a piece of paper. You can On buy it. Can't, yeah, it's not like the. This is literally just a piece of cardboard. Okay. First impressions from stitching your one strand. The piece is officially started. Yay! Okay, I'm first starting. impressions. Okay. So it's just plain Ada. It's very, very stiff. I know people have their own opinions about that. I like stiff Ada, so that was fine. Um, the. Floss colors, I think, are all brilliant. Like, this purple was... It's pretty. I don't... Like... Some people in the Facebook groups complain that the DMC is a little dull and, like... Or that the included kit thread is dull. And I don't remember if we just talked about this or if I talked about it in videos. So I'm just going to tell you guys. So, some people will, before they buy their kit, like, replace all their threads with DMC and they'll replace um, their fabric. You don't want to do that. What do you want to do? I don't want to. Um, I want the experience of using the kit colors. And I think these colors are beautiful, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. My problem was you wanna show? Yeah. Okay. My problem was that this is 18 count, but the pattern is calling for two of uh, two over one, which would be like the equivalent of stitching two over one on 36 count, which is super rare. Yeah. So it is shredding the um, the floss. This is the side that was like attached. So this is the end. This is where you cut. Yeah. Yeah. So we're see how like raw it's ragged. frayed and. And as I was doing it, I could see it, the fibers coming. So I was like, okay, it's too tight for two strands. And you could cut shorter lengths. Like that is yes. like, but. Ew. Yeah, but then I'd have to, anyway. Yes, that's, okay. So one option is to cut them shorter. But Another like option is to use a different fabric. I'm not as in love with the fabric because it is just plain white Ada. It's just plain white Ada. So, you can use it for something else. And I can use it. And I, I'm glad to have an 18 yeah. count Ada that in my, you know, repertoire. So that'd be great. I think I'm going to get a 16 count and I, and I'm going to get it pre-gretted just to save myself yeah, know, five hours. We didn't want to sit here for like four hours yeah. between shooting sections for her to grid the fabric, but she does. Per I don't usually grid a fabric, but Allison likes I need to it, grid it. I need it gridded for full coverage. She's, I need that extra, not like, 
I'm sure this stitch goes here yeah. because counting off of other ones when there are so many different colors and they're blended, it's really difficult for me. So I do, I'm going to buy Whereas I just make in. mistakes and then I'm like, just live with those mistakes. Live with it. But that's okay too. But, and a lot of when I do full coverage, just like my own pattern. So I'm like, mm, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the artist, I'm fine. I like, I like it to be just like the picture. Yeah. So I'm going to try. Um, so you were, so you're going to try to order a 16 count pre-gridded if you can find it. Yes. And I can, that's what I'm stitching sooner than on. Oh, I thought that was a, tw for some reason I thought that was 25 count pre-gridded. No, that is, I don't know. It, it's 16 count okay. pre-gridded, but I got it at Cecilia Samplers. And which we have a whole video about her visit yeah. to Cecilia Samplers, which is in Branson. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, go check that video out. Absolutely go. <laughs> it's really fun. So I know where to get it. In fact, I'm just going to call and... Well, you can probably also... I mean, there's probably like a lot, a of, lot of different yeah. ones. But I know they have it. So I know like, I can get You do get like it. them. So. I do like them. I know where to get it. So I'm going to get some of that and then re do a restart off of my one. But I'm glad but that I had this experience. But it's officially started. Yeah. At least for me, I don't feel like a restart resets today. I feel like if you no just way. switch fabric, you already started this project. Yeah. So we officially started the project Absolutely. in the video where we said we were going to unbox and start. You did. Well... But I, if I hadn't started it today, it wouldn't have, I can't, I won't, it, it would not be as fun to continue on it as yeah. is. Yeah. So this was a great experience and I loved it. And thank you so much. You're welcome. I can't wait to see the progress on it and to see the completed version in 2033. Yeah. Sometime in the future date to be determined. Like when she was monogamous, she'd be able to be like, well, four months, six months from yeah, now. Yeah. Six months but from now, if it's the only thing I work on. She's not monogamous anymore. That's not going to happen anymore. But. I, it's theoretically possible. If you want to, to see all of her whips, go check out our most recent whip parade. Yay. Depending on when you're seeing this, at what point in the future, it might be a different one, but uh, go check out our most recent one to see all of her fun. Probably more than one will be shown. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I was like, here are my 50 projects, and you're like, here's my one. Although we did this just one. see, we just were watching a whip parade today. I don't remember who it was. Where the mother has like 50 and they're all like Hades and the oh. daughter's pregnant. So she only stitched on two things all year because she's the baby, has oh. a baby and is pregnant. So she's like not stitching that much. That's mom brain. So yeah. it's like she had the two and one of hers was even like wool applique or something. But like she had to be there or her mom wasn't going to get through the whole. <laughs> the whole I, don't, I don't remember what channel it was, but it was really cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, all right. Any last thoughts before we sign off? Um, no, I, I mean... If you want to see the progress of this, check it out. And I might do separate videos of Stitch With Me just for this project. If she does that, it won't be on our Flossy channel, but it, we will link it in the description. Yeah, if I decide to do that, then... Yeah. And then... Um, if, yeah, so if you want to see her progress on it, like hear her thoughts about stitching it and things like that, uh, subscribe and go check out our FlossTube episodes every... If you're seeing this like way in the future for some reason, every pattern we mention in every floss tube is listed. So you can actually go in and find whichever the next floss tube is after this video and see which videos we're do she's covering it in. And then if she does decide to do um, Stitch, Stitch With Me, me's, then they'll be listed in the description at some point in the future if you do that. Yep. Um, but yeah, if you want to hear our regular stitching updates and our fun extras like this, subscribe to Cross Stitch the Globe. Um, you can find us on Instagram. She'll also be posting Instagram Updates. pics occasionally. All, and, all the time. <laughs> um, and in your stories. And, yeah. Um, so I am I run the Cross Stitch the Globe Instagram account because I started it before we started this channel. Mm -hmm. And then she is Allison, Allison at the moment. And I'll post those here. So go follow us on Instagram. And um, thank you guys so much. If you made it to the end of this video and you are super excited about stitching a Kincaid, or you're not, even if you're not excited about stitching a Kincaid, but you just... Made it to the end of this really crazy video. But if you have stitched the Kincaid, let us know your thoughts. Yeah. Because I am very interested to hear how other people are experiencing these kits. Because it's a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. And I'm all about yeah, the Yeah, so. and if you have any, like, resources about it, leave yeah. it in the comments. But if you did make it to the end of this video, leave um, a high heel emoji. Okay. And that'll be our secret yeah. that you made it all the way to this point, which is crazy. So, um, thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.